We are going to move into a brand new segment on Blue Nation this week, and I am very, 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 very excited about it, Pete. We've got blue gold athlete superlatives. If you've ever watched the Tonight Show with Jimmy Fallon, we're not ripping off this at all, but we're going to take <laughs> some shots guy. of blue gold athletes, and we're going to give them a little caption of sorts. So, without further ado, let it begin, blue gold superlatives. Let's start it off with Alex Knutson from the wrestling team was voted most likely to ask for a train set for Christmas. Wait, am I picture. right? Am I right? That's a great picture. It, it, I love it, it really is. I love these. I love these guys. <laughs> Who do we got next? Looks like we got Jay Dio from the men's hockey team. He was voted most. Oh no, not most. He was voted tannest Canadian. Tannest He's from Can British Columbia, Vancouver. <laughs> great goalie, great player. He is stepping up for the team this year. Next up, we've got Nick Hora from the men's swimming team, voted most likely to be found at the Holiday on Water Street at 2 a.m. <laughs> A, a, real, a real great character we've got there in Nick Hora from the swimming team. I'm sure he's wonderful. Let's see who's next. Whoa, looks like we've got Keegan Kinsella from the women's volleyball team. She was voted most likely to make Matt Halverson nervous in an on-air interview. You know what? Go home, Pete. <laughs> yeah, do you want to explain that one quick? Well, if you watch our uh, interview from earlier this season when the volleyball team was in it, we had an interview with King Gonzalez, and that's all that happened. We did not have an interview. <laughs> you had an interview. That's all that happened, folks. That's all that happened, folks. Next, uh, we have Jessica Coyne from the women's volleyball team was voted most likely to stoop to working at TV10. Which is funny because she just wor started working for us now, and uh, I don't think she's left yet, so we haven't scared her off yet. She hasn't quit yet, so that's a bonus. We got Lucy Ramquist from the women's cross-country team voted most likely to not be bothered by going up the hill as she has just won the Athlete of the Year for the WEAC Conference in cross country. So she's probably in shape. Yeah, you know, I don't have to worry about going up the hill because I could drive my car up. But everybody else I see always struggles with that hill. Pete, I'm super out of shape. It's rough. It's <laughs> yeah. really rough. Next, we've got Braden McDaniel from the football team voted most likely to get kicked out of the DMV. <laughs> look at that face. It looks like, kind of looks like deer in the headlight look, too. I don't know if he wasn't ready. He was really excited to take that shot for BlueGolds.com. Yeah. You know, great guy, great football player. Yeah. We got, also from the football team, Lars Nelson, starting center, one of our good buddies. He uh, was voted most likely to be Mr. Steal Yo Lunch. Exactly. <laughs> yeah, he was on the show. That guy is a hilarious dude. If you've never hung out with Lars Nelson, go hang out with Lars Nelson right now. Maybe you should arm wrestle him, too, again. We I don't want to talk about it. Yeah. Anyways, following up uh, with our last but not least in Blue Gold Superlatives, Bree Meyer of the women's basketball team voted most athletic show host at TV10 because we all suck. Yeah, you've got the, <laughs> you know, you've got the home screen guys, the handful of handsome guys, us guys, the news ladies, use guys, all of the guys. But that's going to do it here for Blue Nation. Thanks for watching. Remember, everyone, when everything is coming your way, you're probably in the wrong lane. <laughs>